Let's play a game, shall we? Hey there, welcome to Scuba Man's Quest, a staple of my childhood. It may not seem like much, but, you know, when I was a kid, I was playing games on earlier versions of Windows and MS-DOS. This was one of those games that I got really into. Way more than I should. I'm sure everybody has those games that when you look back at it, it's not the best. But you just had fun with it. You just had a lot of fun with it. So you can't help but look back on it favorably. You know what I mean. And it is pretty fun, even even nowadays. Obviously, it's it's not a great game. It's not Doom or anything. But it's, it's still pretty fun. You're basically armed with a quote-unquote stun gun, even though they obviously look like freaking missiles being shot. They look like you're shooting torpedoes, but whatever. Let's just, let's just assume for the sake of argument that they are stun. Oh, I see. I see. That's why they're considered stun, a stun gun. Because they only, you're only protected temporarily. Also, they can, they eat you. The creatures that you're trying to apparently save, they try to eat you. They, they really show their gratitude, don't they? Oh, you jerk. That one can even shoot back at you. Which is very unfortunate. Ah, oh, you stupid jerk. Yeah, basically that, that health meter isn't really a health meter. It's more like your life meter. Because you die in one hit. And, of course, I'm... I'm triggering the, the sticky keys on my keyboard. Hang on a sec. Ah, damn it. That's not what I meant to do. You know what? I'm just gonna trigger it just so I can say no. Hang on a sec. There. Now I can spam shift to my heart's content without it giving me problems. There. Because this is the kind of game that you need to be able to press shift a lot and really fast in. That's just how it works. Because otherwise they will kill you. They will not hesitate to kill you. These, these creatures are bloodthirsty. They're ravenous. See, look at that. That, that. that turtle is trying to kill me. Ever heard of a game where a turtle is trying to kill you? I can understand the killer whale. I mean, he's got killer in his name, even though they don't really go after humans all that much. But still. Freaking turtle. A freaking turtle is trying to kill me. Okay, there we go. I got a little bit of health back. Yeah, a little bit more health back. I'm gonna call it health, even though it's basically a life system. Just because it's easier that way. Also, you can collect treasure. I think the justification is that you're picking them up off the sea floor so that they don't cause damage to the environment. And that the little creatures you get, you're saving them or something. I don't know. It's trying to make itself out to be eco-friendly, even though you're basically... You're basically shooting torpedoes at, at monsters. Not monsters, underwater sea creatures while grabbing others as, as plunder and looking for treasure. It's all passing it off as, oh, this is good for the environment. But you know, you, you gotta roll with it. I guess they decided halfway through, oh, oh crap. Animal rights groups probably aren't gonna be too happy about this. PETA will probably make a parody game of this that, that has to be as bloody as possible just to prove some kind of stupid point. As if anybody cares what PETA does, but you know. Oh crap. Yeah, th those killer whales seem to be the worst of them. They will... They will freaking dive bomb after you. Very aggressively. You gotta... You gotta know how to get past them. Right. And unfortunately your torpedoes, or quote unquote stun gun, doesn't go through walls, so that makes things a little complicated. No you don't. No you don't. Wow. Oh. Did that hit me and not do anything? Did his own missile actually hit me and not do anything? No, you don't. Get away from me, you stupid whale. Get away from me, you stupid whale. Good thing they can't turn around. Unfortunately, those guys can. It's kind of funny. He was, he was chasing after me while going backwards. Or at least he was trying to. Haphazardly. Okay, that, that's just a jerk move, spawning me next to an enemy. That's just great, isn't it? Come on. 
as in case you couldn't tell, this game is a little bit on the challenging side. Mostly because, you know, it's an old, older game, and older, the older games get... That seems to be a rule. The older the game is, the easier it has to get. Probably because newer, the newer the game gets, the more it sort of handholds you. Obviously, that's not true in every case. I know there are challenging games this generation. I know every time there's a challenging game, people compare it to Dark Souls, which is kind of stupid. I love how whenever there's a game mildly challenging, like Cuphead, they're like, Oh, it's the Dark Souls of this, or it's the Dark Souls of that. Dark Souls doesn't have a monopoly on difficulty. Just because something is slightly hard doesn't make it Dark Souls. Dark Souls has a style to it. And unless it has that style to it, you can't really compare it to Dark Souls favorably. You know, very fairly anyway. You gotta compare things to things. I mean, I would compare Cuphead to more like, I don't know, the old Super Mario Bros. games or something like that. Something that actually has its kind of style. You know what I mean? Or heck, Contra or Castlevania. Well, maybe not Castlevania, but freaking g ghouls and goblins. I mean, if you want to, if you want to compare something very difficult and just say it's very difficult, then just call, compare it to ghouls and goblins, or ghosts and goblins. I don't even remember the name of it. Probably because ghouls and ghosts are pretty much the same thing, and they sound very similar, so it's. It's hard to remember, I think it was ghouls and goblins, though. You get what I mean, though. At least there are hearts all over the place. And I just found the exit, nice! That wasn't so bad. Okay, we get it. We get it! Episode 2, Dark Cave. Wait a minute. I'm already at the end of the episode? That was just one level? I was about to say. Better than HUD. There better not just be one level. I know it's a free demo, but still. Okay, that, that thing is gonna be a, a bit of a... a hazard. Okay, I think I stunned it. Or not. I think this is the bottom of the sea or something. These are some hostile creatures, yep. They look like carnivores. Oh great, it's this thing. It's that submarine whale. I don't even know what it's supposed to be, but it shoots at you. I think the stingray actually does too. Actually, I don't know if the stingray does or not, but I know I know that whale submarine thing does. It's like an organic submarine. There we go. That isn't so bad. And apparently I've got some worms. But keep in mind, I'm just saving them. I'm not hoarding them at all. I'm a good fisherman. And apparently that crawdad killed me somehow. How do you get killed by a freaking crawdad? That's got to be embarrassing. It's bad enough being killed by turtles, killer fish, sunfish, whatever else. But a freaking crawdad? I mean, come on, man. How much of a wuss is this guy? Oh no, he pinched my nose. Down I go. That's just sad. I'm just saying. <coughs> I don't even know what it's firing at me. And I don't think I want to know either. That's a bit of a jerk move right there. Being able to fire at me. Hey, how dare you be able to fire at me. Take this. Haha, <laughs> you can't fire behind you, can ya? Did I just break his fin? Yeah, so much for a stun pistol, huh? Broke his freaking fin. Yeesh. Actually, shooting shooting below and above them seems to be a lot easier. And you can shoot the crawdad, too. That's great. Great times are had here. But keep in mind, they are definitely, this is definitely a stun gun. Keep that in mind, PETA. It's just a stun gun. This is environmentally friendly. So, no need to go off the handle. I'm just... Oh, it's, it's glitching out. I didn't destroy its fan. It turned into two stingrays. What's that all about? And you can't just blame it on DOSBox because DOSBox has never glitched out like that. That's got to be on the game. I would test it, but I don't have a computer old enough to actually properly test that. If someone with an MS-DOS capable computer would like to test to see if Scuba Man's Quest is actually glitching out or not, you know, be my guest. I really don't care enough to know. 
but given the nature of this game, and it, even back then, it probably wasn't that impressive. I don't even know when this game came out. I didn't check. Maybe I should have. Oh well. All I know is that I played it as a kid, and that's all I need to know. Right? I turned the desktop audio up a little because I think I was overpowering it a bit too much. I mean, I know... I know you guys clearly love hearing my voice immensely, but maybe you'd like to hear some of the game too. I mean, I want there to be a balancing act. I want you to barely be able to hear me over the, over the game's audio. I want you to be able to hear me clearly, but I want you to be able to hear the game too. You know, for those two seconds that I keep my mouth shut. That way you would actually be able to appreciate it a little more. Well, you never know. I mean, that snail might be hostile to- Did it just spawn? They just spawned. Holy crap. Either this game has some very weird spawning mechanics, or they just did, they just really didn't want me to grab that golden snail. It, it set them off. Well, too bad. I'm gonna grab all the golden snails I want. Take that. It probably just spawns them because... It probably spawns them to save on performance. Because back... Believe it or not, back then, side-scroller... Side-scrolling games were a hassle for PCs to do back then. Even though the NES could do it, for some reason... The NES was actually better capable for side-scrolling than PCs were at the time. Would you believe that? Of course, PCs had the edge and actual graphical hardware, but being able to redraw the screen, that was actually a hassle. Commander Keen was a big deal back then because they managed to... They actually managed to do it in a way that was, perf was actually smooth enough on computers. I think what they did was, they didn't draw everything, they only redrew what needed to be redrawn. You know, for example, this. This has a, a solid blue background, so it doesn't need to redraw everything. It only needs to redraw things like this, and you know, the, the decoration, and you know, maybe the enemies. I know it, well, and to, the, to an extent, the submarine guy, because there is a little bit of dead space. So, to an extent, it has to redraw him, but not too much. Not enough that it would actually be performance heavy. But if you notice, most of the game is just a solid color. That's because back then, you know, having to redraw everything at once was difficult to do. I need to quit dying. That would be nice, wouldn't it? At least this, this is a hell of a lot easier than Billy the Kid. Man, that was one of the first Let's Plays that I did on this channel. Well, you know, recently. I know I did a Duke Nukem Forever one, but I'm gonna be honest with you, that one wasn't a legit Let's Play, it was more of a pre-recording. Yeah, I pre-recorded the gameplay and I tried to, I tried to come up with a script of what I th thought would sound f clever at the time. That was my attempt to be clever with a script. Clearly, I wasn't much better with a script, at least back then. But this time it's legit. You can tell because I'm actually reacting legitimately to my death. Well, sometimes. It's a good thing I've got, like, five health. I've got five lives, so that's good. That does mitigate it to an extent. The game is a little generous with lives. I mean, unless you keep screwing up over and over again like I'm doing. And even then, you've got some leeway if you do that. Ah, I gotta, qu I gotta quit falling for that. I keep f dying to that one, one freaking thing. He keeps hitting me. I need to, I need to get around him. Okay, when I see him, immediately jerk upwards, because he's gonna fire at me, and it's gonna hurt. A lot. Apparently forcefully detonating bombs underwater, causing damage to the environment is actually a good thing. Ah, damn it! I keep falling for it! Okay, this time I'm gonna fo- I'm gonna- I'm gonna focus, I'm gonna freaking focus. Not focus on anything else, not on the bombs, not on the first stupid crawdads, not on anything else. Okay, I will freaking get you this time. Uh, he's after this. I know it. Oh wait, he, he's he's in this one. There you are. Not this time. You're not getting me this time, you freak. Ah, he got me. What the hell? His torpedoes are freaking. I can't even say they're fast, I'm, ju I'm just really slow, that's that's it, I'm just too freaking slow. Okay, well I got two more chances, I got two more tries, I might have three more tries actually. 
I don't know, I forgot. I don't know if it's two or three, I don't know if you still live when you get down to zero. What the hell? I was trying to dodge it! It didn't work! Well, I got one more chance. This better work. This better freaking work. Holy crap, I am I'm sucking out loud. I'm so sorry. I really need to get my game up, but I keep getting distracted. No, you don't, you freaking... Freaking asshole. I'm sorry. Had to be said. Are you kidding me? Now I'm paranoid. Because I'm on my last life. Oh, finally. Holy crap, and he didn't glitch out this time, too. It's a freaking miracle. Okay, good. I got an extra life. So at least I got a little bit of buffer if I, if I should die again. But I'd rather not die again. I'd rather just win. Is that okay? Is it okay if I win? I'd like to win. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. Well, at least that, that, that should serve as a checkpoint, at least as long as I have lives left. And I got him I got him in that position. Apparently if you if you kill him when he's like that, so for some reason he turns into into stingrays. I don't know why. They clearly showed that they've got they've actually got a stun sprite. I don't know why they don't use it when you hit him from behind, but whatever. But yeah, like I said, if you've noticed most of the game is a solid color, that way it doesn't have to redraw anything. It only has to redraw the the relevant elements like the bubbles, the the walls, the enemies, the the items. I mean, imagine how straining it would be on a computer if it had a whole background to redraw. Imagine if that was like a cave, a cabin or something behind him, and it had to draw all that. In addition to that, I mean, computers back in the day, I mean, they would probably have a little bit of struggle there. Okay. Wow. I sp I, I was actually right next to the exit too. That's pretty cool. Okay, is that it? Okay, no, it isn't. I can keep going. I don't know if that's a glitch or not, but the game is letting me continue. Mutant jellyfish. Oh, I get it because these these are te these are levels. That would that's what it means by episodes. Okay, mutant jellyfish. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, say there's stun- say it's a stun gun now, it just popped him! He literally popped open! Yeah, stun gun, huh? Yeah, try and explain that one! Freaking alive software? <coughs> it's funny, you call yourself a live software, those jellyfish don't look alive to me! I mean, the shark looks alive, the shark isn't really hurt. Those jellyfish! Holy crap, I popped them! I ripped him open, like a pinata. Yeah, stun gun, huh? Or maybe those jellyfish are so weak that even stun shots kill them. I don't know if that's accurate, but whatever. I guess I'll go with that. Maybe they just have to regenerate. Maybe because they're jellyfish and they're they're blobs, they can regenerate themselves. I don't know if that. Well, I don't think jellyfish can regenerate themselves in real life, but maybe these jellyfish can. Maybe these jellyfish are more powerful than real life jellyfish. I mean, I know some creatures like starfish, they can regenerate themselves from almost nothing, so maybe, maybe these jellyfish are fortunate enough to know how to do that. I'm a little stuttery because I'm trying not to die. In case you can't tell, it's a little hard for me to do, to not die. Just not dying is a challenge. I love how he's just staring at me. Is it to say, oh, I'll get you next time. I'll get you yet, Gadget. What the heck? I went the wrong way, didn't I? Ooh, look at that. Piping. I don't know where the pipe came from and why it's suspended in midair. That's just weird. Ah, nice. <coughs> Better destroy that just to make sure. I guess the rule is if it moves, if it moves, it's hostile. If it doesn't move, you can pick it up. And yet, even that's not consistent. If it's some kind of shellfish in motion, it's an enemy. Otherwise, you can pick it up. I gotta assume that. That's all I've got to go on. Crap, the jellyfish got me. I was so focused on the shark that the freaking jellyfish got me. How sad is that? 
Take this. Take that, you piece of crap. And another jellyfish killed me. Oh, am I never gonna... Am I ever gonna quit getting killed by jellyfish? Well, when if I get killed by a shark, that'll end my streak of getting killed by jellyfish. But not in the way I want. Take that. Yeah. Get stunned. Get wrecked. You piece of crap. Oh, boy. Can they go through walls? Evidently, they can. Yeesh. Are they jellyfish or freaking ghosts? Because now that I think about it, they... They kind of look like they could pass for the blue ghost from Pac-Man. That's kind of what I was thinking of. Well, at least, much like the blue ghost from Pac-Man, you can actually destroy them. At least temporarily. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're the blue ghost from Pac-Man. And when you stun them, quote-unquote, what you're actually doing is destroying everything except their eyes so they can run off and regenerate. You know, regrow their bodies at the center, except they don't have to go back to the center. You just, you just give them time, and then they regenerate. They restore themselves on, the, on their own. It's weird, I know, but hey, what are you gonna do, right? This is a weird game. And from the looks of things, this is probably one of the lower budgeted games. This doesn't look like a game that screams high budget. I know it was in the MS-DOS days, but still. I'm pretty sure even by MS-DOS standards, this is pretty weak. I'm just saying, no offense. Okay, there we go. No offense to the game, but even by MS-DOS standards, there, there had to have been much better looking games released around the same time. It's clearly, it's clearly not a very high budgeted game, especially considering I, I, you obviously can't hear of the Alive Software Studio today, so they must not have survived. Either that or they're just so low on the radar that nobody has heard of them except for their older games. Maybe, who knows, maybe they do make new games, they probably don't. I'm gonna call and say they probably don't. Probably. Obviously, I can't make a definitive call, but I'm gonna say they're eh, probably not. It's doubtful. I'm gonna call and say the odds aren't good. If they are making games, I would be surprised. I would be legitimately shocked. Maybe I should actually look it up after I do this let's play, just to just to know one way or the other. But oh well. Even if this game isn't very polished, it's not very nuanced, it is fun for what it is. You survived the journey! The complete episodes includes Golden Gates, Dark Cave, Mutant Jellyfish, Shark Attack, Shipwreck, Gatekeepers, Lost Treasure, Posey Poseidonia, Escape and Voyage Home are available, blah blah blah. Obviously that's not going to work anymore, I doubt that company even exists anymore. It's probably someone else entirely. Alright. Enter my name, Metroid Junkie. Wow, just enough, huh? <laughs> nice. Cool. Okay, then. I'm pretty sure this is just, this is just the shareware version, though. I, n I never did get the full version as a kid, obviously. Let's see if I can play it. Wow, okay. I can actually play it. Or can I? This actually is the full version. Nice. Okay, then. Actually... I'm going to go back to the menu because I'm going to spend the, like the last uh, six or seven minutes or so. I'm just going to check out Shipwreck because when I was a kid, that was the one that was most interested in. Oh, okay. Okay. It, it is the shareware version. Oh, I see. I get it. Freaking get it. Okay, let's just check out the demo. I'm pretty sure the demo has more than that. I'll let you know when it gets to beyond where I've... Oh, wait. Never mind. It's episode 5, Shark Attack. But wait. That, that's where I was. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, it's different. Those are different sharks. So Shark Attack is probably almost exclusively sharks. Unlike this one. Oh, yeah. That, that is definitely different. So, yeah. I never did pl have the full version as a kid. It probably wasn't worth it as a kid. I mean, let's face it. Like I said, this isn't one of the better built games, it's obviously pretty low budget in its build, so if I wanted to get a game, I would probably get any other, I would probably, there were probably a number of games that I would rather have gotten over this game, so no offense to it, I had a lot of fun with the demo, with the shareware demo, shareware version, you know, back, remember back when shareware was a thing, where they didn't just have 
a huge amount of PR. They just gave you free demos that contain portions of the game. Of course, if you're certain companies like EA, they just charge you 60 bucks for the portion of the game and then make you pay extra to get the rest of it. Oh! Yeah, these ones actually have mermen in them, which is kind of weird. I can't even tell. Uh, is that a mermaid, actually? The one with the long hair. I don't want to assume anything. Is that a mermaid? Or is it just a long-haired merman? It's hard to tell because there are ones with short hair, which I think, or maybe they're just mermaids with short hair. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Okay, this is the one that I'm talking about. When I was a kid, I, I would look at the demo of this and think it was just so cool. This was one of the coolest things back, back in the day. And I remember it being more graphic... I remember it having more graphical fidelity than it actually does because, you know, when you're a kid, your imagination goes wild and you just... You remember things as being better looking than they actually were because as a kid, your imagination filled in the blanks. Like, I swear, when I was a kid, I remember that shipwreck looking far more impressive than it does now. Because, you know, you fill in the blanks, you might think, oh wow, that, I'm, that shipwreck might actually look like a wrecked ship and not a perfectly intact ship that might have a little bit of grime on it. I don't know. I mean, even with the detail, you would think they would be able to do that. I guess they just chose not to for artistic reasons. But anyway, I think I've kept you long enough with just these demos. I mean, if I'm not going to actually play it, what's the point? At this point, I'm commentating on someone else playing the game. It's like a let's play within a let's play. <laughs> anyway... I think that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like enemy scuba divers, apparently. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out. Have a good one and have a nice and pleasant day.